Hi guys, how are you doing today? It's 316 Source and I'm Lynn and I have Miss Maya, my niece behind the camera and um, actually the phone. And I'm struggling a little bit. I've been sick for about three to almost four weeks. So, um, but I wanted to, I hadn't done a storage unit for like a couple weeks or something. So I wanted to kind of show you some thrift store finds that I have come across and um, I know a lot of people don't um, do like the apparel um, or the textiles, I think as they call them, or shoes because it's more of a hassle. But I actually have been doing quite well on Poshmark with that. So it's going pretty good. So my sister uh, was with me last night and we went to Goodwill here in Mays, um, Kansas. And um, we spent a good two or three hours there because their computers were down. And so we just lollygagged through the entire store. And so there's a couple items here that are hers. Um, so we'll get started with that in a minute. But obviously we started out with um, this little saying right here. It's dream every chance you get. Because you know everybody needs to live out their dream. Right over here we have a sweetheart of mine. Her name is Miss Nevea. And she's hanging out with us today because her dad is doing the whole brown trail PPS thing, right? So this will go on YouTube here probably today or tomorrow. So say hi. I don't know how many people will see it. I guess probably like 32 people. I think I have 32 people following me now. Us. So it's pretty exciting. Um, I do have, um, in a couple of weeks, I am going to be, um, well, I have some, some things going with some storage lockers. So um, hopefully I will be able to have a video for you, but I got to get better. So I'm going to get through this really quick and kind of let you know what you can look for. Um, Rally Roots, and um, they're really good about the B-O-L-O, -O, the Bolos, the Buy, or Be On The Lookout. Uh, so when you are, if you actually are doing storage units and you're just giving clothes away, which I do, but I go through them and I actually separate. Oh, there's Marshmallow Duder. He, you guys probably see him if you're on my Facebook. He's like in every picture. I am getting my sister. So, <laughs> anyways, am I, are we good? Um, see, where was I at? I'm losing my train of thought really quick. Um, but anyways, so I separate the clothes and I separate what I'm going to donate to Church on the Street or other homeless ministries here in Wichita, Kansas. And this is our sweetheart here. She's new to the family and her name is Domino Duder, Miss Domino Duder. And um, hopefully that Duder is not trademarked because I picked that up from... A family. No. Uh, what's his name? He has like a million followers. I don't know. You guys will know who I'm talking about. He's crazy. He's funny. He's got a beard. Anyways, uh, I don't know. The one that says Duder? Yeah, he says Duder. Because I started calling my grandkids Duders and I was like, hey, you little Duder. And so then I just kind of incorporated that with the name. Marshmallow was not a name that I made up. That was name was given to the kitten and the kitten came here and it just kind of stayed. I probably would have called it Titan or something. But no. anyways, bad no, name. bad name, Titan yeah. Duder. We can call him TD for short. No. Okay, never mind. All right, we're going to get started really quick. So um, I want to make this as short as possible because we lose attention span, I guess. So I make, I'm trying to be better about that. And we have flipped the phone. So hopefully you guys won't see the annoying line um, uh, of just like one part of the screen. So uh, my sister picked this up. This is a North Face scarf and this was 99 cents. And I think she said she, oh, excuse me, there it is. Very good condition. Um, so that's a name you want to be on the lookout for, Hot Item. She sold one um, just for, a couple days ago, just couple days ago for $20. But again, that sold for 99 cents here in Wichita. We get a, uh, have a little discount card. And so um, and we got 10% off. <clears throat> We have a KU beanie hat, and that was 99 cents. And on the flip side, we also have the embroidery there. So I don't know what it'll sell for, it's hers. She likes KU, so she'll probably wear it. I love KU. And then we have, what is this again? CC. CC. CC, my playmate. Just kidding. Go now, that is playmate. weird. Okay, so this is a cute little hat. This was 99 cents too, correct? Okay. 
and so this is hers, but really cute. Um, this, they run anywhere from I don't know, Maya, if you can come here really close and here we go. Can you pick that up on the camera to yeah. see what it says? Cool. Um, can you read it? What you dare to dream, dare to do. Absolutely. So, and this was 99 cents. It has no, I don't know who made it. I have no idea, but it's really cool. Yeah. So I'm going to keep that. It's probably made out of rock. I, it, yeah, it looks like a glass rock. Not, <laughs> not German, it looks like glass. Um, anybody remember the tin cans of uh, tennis balls? Um, so I found one and I have all the tennis balls there. Um, they have name a name written on one of them, but they're still in really good condition for being vintage. I don't know how old they are, um, but they were like a dollar, um, like a dollar sixty or something like that. Um, I don't know if these are vintage or not. I might keep these for myself because I miss the whole neon era, like back in the '80s. I don't know if folks, a lot of you remember the the neon colors. But these are thin silets and these are amazing. I don't even think they've been worn. These were also 99 cents and they were like 89 cents after the discount. Um, okay, now to get to some of the clothes. <clears throat> I don't, this is like a Nike, like somebody who would be doing I'm yoga right or something. A really cute little dry fit, something I can't fit into yet. Uh, hopefully really soon though. But that's a medium. I think it was like a buck 99 or something like that. So that was just hanging. We are going to a movie, a uh, red carpet movie premiere, premiere event here in Wichita on Wednesday, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. It's for Pearl 2, and uh, it's a local um, producer here, and some of our friends are in that movie. They also helped with um, the soundtrack, Team BSR, and I'm sure I'm messing a lot of information up, but we, we bought tickets and we've been invited, and well, to go to this uh, premiere event it was so hot they had to open up the second night so we're doing that this week and i guess i'm gonna wear some blingy like this so that's what that was Woo! everybody cheer um thread and supply this i think is a item that is sold at nordstrom's and it's um a really nice quilted on the inside and very 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 good condition and this was like 2.99 i think I don't know how much they're selling for or how much they would sell for on Poshmark, but definitely more than what I bought it for. This one, I just happened to go back and look at a rack a second time and I'm glad I did. Um, everybody's probably heard of Kate Spade. And so this was just this lovely little dreamer as Tucker and Sammy would say, um, the Tucker Upper in Sammy Jane, New Jersey is a dreamer and it has its tag. Hello, look, I didn't even know it had its tag, but this is Kate Spade and I don't even know what it sells for new, but I know that I'll be, her stuff is hot and so and I'll be able to resell that with no problem. I don't know if that'll, that'll go on Posh and maybe eBay, I might do both. I don't know, we'll figure that one out. Okay, Torrid is uh, for larger women, um, but, <laughs> you know, thick women, whatever you want to call it. Um, kind of like Lane Bryant. And there's a lot of ladies out there. Um, I've sold a lot of clothes to, and these are a pair of Torah jeans. They're a size like 24 short. I pretty sure these are pretty expensive buying them new. They are used, but they don't look bad at all. And these were 3 dollars So I'll definitely probably get 20, 25 bucks out of those. It's not more. I like Torrid, but mm, I don't know. This is a Torrid, uh, like a tank top as well, but I'll keep it for myself. <laughs> so t-shirt seems to be like the, the hot thing. Um, and so my sister and I went through racks and racks of clothes yesterday. And I, they were all night, like dollar ninety. they were dollar ninety nine. And cause I popped all the tags off of these. Okay, so this is really cool. Maya, can you see this okay? You might have to zoom in. Look at this shirt, you guys. I mean, I know it's just a t-shirt, but it's the Kiss, it's the local crew from the Freedom to Rock Tour 2016. I don't know, it's kind of awesome. Just don't see those flying around. I know it doesn't have any graphics or anything on the back, but I thought that was kind of neat, so I had to have it. Um, I, again, I love t-shirts and sayings, but this says, can you zoom in on it? Can you read it, Maya? 
Heck yeah. What does it say? What the pug are you looking at? All right, then. Just a fun little t-shirt. Um, I actually um, am looking forward to getting a motorcycle. And so I have been actually kind of, I don't wanna say collecting, not hoarding, but collecting a lot of motorcycle t-shirts. So when I'm on my motorcycle, I can sport, um, this is Alice up here in Wichita, which is right on the highway. This one does have a bleach stain right here, but like my niece was telling me, just make some black marker. But I think it's kind of cool. Just kind of right there. And if I have a vest on, I don't know if I will or not. I haven't figured that one out yet. But anyways, there we go. Dollar ninety-nine. Uh, Trey's Adkins, I have a tour t-shirt. I don't know how, like I know some tour t-shirts, obviously the more vintage they are, the more expensive they are. But I think anytime you see a tour t-shirt, with a name that you're obviously familiar with, I'd pick it up. I mean, this was a, uh, I don't even know what tour it was, but anyways, Trace Atkins. This one was pretty cool. Uh, nice graphics on it, very good condition. Tim McGraw from 2014. And um, that is just a sweet t-shirt right there. So I'd probably make some money off of that. I, I like Tim McGraw, but I won't keep the t-shirt. Um, my sister liked this one because I always do this. <laughs> Um, anyways, it's so cute. Um, it says good vibes. And then it's got like the skeleton hand, I think, with like the hang loose. <laughs> cute. Okay, anyways, next. And I should have worn this for this video, but I really liked this. And I am keeping this. Resting Grinch face. Mm -hmm. okay. And last but not least, um, I was also watching Rally Route several months ago and they were in Goodwill down in Florida and they had said to watch for this brand, I believe, and it's Spider, S-P-Y-D-E-R. And this is a lady's um, like little zip up fleece, long shirt fleece here. Um, and it has the little spider emblem on the little pole there. And then of course, um, you know, with the color tag and that. Um, you obviously want to look over everything. Definitely look through the armpits. You guys all know that. Um, but some of you who are doing storage units, might be a good idea to, I think some of you, most of you go through that. I know clothes have become quite boring, um, but I've actually made really decent money off of reselling clothes. But maybe it's not your thing, it's not everybody's thing because not everybody's into clothes. Um, but anyways, that's a pretty cool find. And last but not least, this was probably the find of the day. My sister actually saw these. Um, Maya, you can come in and zoom in on this and kind of what the inside of that says, if you're all right with that. Those are Cole Hahn, what does it say? Grand yeah. something or other, yeah, grand. right? Grand. These are new, they have never been worn. Our Goodwill sucks um, as far as they write on the bottom of the shoes, and I think they do in some other Goodwills as well. But usually you can take that off with um, a cotton ball and some uh, fingernail polish remover. But be careful <laughs> because I've done that before and actually taken a finish off <laughs> a pair of shoes and it sucked. So I still sell the sandals. It just took a little while to sell them and they sell their tags on them and they're from Dillard's. Uh, but these have never been worn. They smell like they came right out of the box, but they were $14.99. So obviously um, I just paid like a little over what, 13 bucks for them or whatever um, with my discount. And um, um, I don't know what that fading is. But anyways, those are sweet. I don't know what they're gonna sell for. I don't think I've sold a pair of Colvin shoes. So this will be the first time I've sold a pair of those. Um, but anyways, keep this quick. And uh, you guys, uh, let me give some shout outs here. Um, First of all, Tucker Upper and Sammy J um, out of New Jersey. And we have Grimes Finds out of Dallas, Texas. You guys rock. I watch all your videos um, and I try to share them on Facebook and because I just think that it's really cool to see what everybody else does. Uh, Wade's Ventures out of Portland. We've got Locker Nuts out of California. Uh, Storage Auction Pirate out of California as well. Uh, we have Resale Rabbit. He hasn't put any videos out in a while. And um, Hooked on Pickens, she's out of St. Louis, I believe. I know I'm missing Rally Roots. I know I'm missing more, you guys. I know a lot of you have become my friends here recently and I'm subscribing to your channels. 
Um, so I know I'm probably missing some right off the bat, but anyways, I watch y'all. And so I try to give out that information to anybody who watches that video. If you like this video, I will get better at these um, because I'm just learning how to do this whole YouTube thing. And I'm trying to make them shorter so I can keep your attention span longer. And um, uh, like, subscribe, hit that little bell because then if I go, if I pop a video on, you guys will know that, that uh, I have uploaded a video. And uh, share it, you know, because there's a lot of people out there just on Poshmark alone that I have told what I was doing and I've inspired others and you can be an inspiration in somebody's life. Don't forget to just don't stop dreaming. Whatever that dream is, I'm going to continue to say that. Um, you know, walk it out. Don't be afraid of eBay and shipping. Don't be afraid of singing in front of a lot of people or standing up and speaking in front of large people, a large audience, or doing this. Because it is, you know, it's different when you don't necessarily have hundreds of people in front of you and you're just doing it behind a camera. And you know that you've got to be tough in this day and age because people are going to say things and they're going to be rude, but that's just the way the world is. So stay strong, stay up. Stay focused, stay laser focused. Um, happy holidays to you all. Again, I don't know um, when I'll have a video out, but in a couple of weeks, I'm looking at like three storage units. So I will let you know if I get them. And if I do, then we're gonna have several um, things going on. The last locker that we did, the medical unit, um, we have already pretty much gotten our money back on that. So that went really well. Um, so thanks you all. Again, I'll shut up and have an awesome rest of your day and take care and God bless you all. Bye.